I Bert? I am Bert, that's right. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm not revolution. These guys are the next one. Oh, it's going to develop better. Okay. So basically, I mean, Joe Holden has invented a spectacular turbine. Uh, we've proven that the turbine on the inside works. Uh, we've been running different pressures um, and different um, amounts of water through it. Uh, we've got about 400 different variable tests that we've done. And it can basically generate electricity at variable speeds, at variable pressures, at variable flows. And um, we believe it's the lowest cost per watt installed of any renewable energy system on the planet. Um, especially when we build sizes of 1 megawatt to 30 megawatt systems. Uh, this is a 100 kilowatt uh, example. It's totally scalable. And, um, and it works. And it works just the way Joe said it would. And it has some very unique characteristics within the inside of the turbine. It uses the water a second time. Um, uh, almost every other turbine system just uses the water once. They're either a impulse, reaction, or cross-flow system. And um, he's incorporated all three into this system and then put it in a pressurized box. And we're keeping the pressure in there in order to be able to use the water a second time. So we're able to extract more energy out of the same water. Plus, the system can be designed in such a way where we extract the water from upstream at a higher elevation, put it into a pipe, run the pipe down the side of the river into one of these units, take all the energy out of it, and then we continue to run the water downstream even further to maybe another 500 feet further down the river, and then run it into another one of these, and on and on and on and on, all the way down the river, so we can take that same water and extract energy out of it multiple times, because it's all based on gravity beams. 100% gravity, it's 100% mechanical, there's no electronic parts at all, it's designed for ease of maintenance, all of the things that we require being maintained are on the outside of the turbine, so you don't have to shut the whole thing down. Is this kind of like a mini chip compared to a regular turbine, how much smaller I, I, I see it more as like the iPod compared to a stereo. You know, it's a really small, compact uh, system that can generate a ton of energy. And our 30 megawatt system will be the size of a shipping uh, container. And it'll be a roll-on, roll-off unit. And basically, instead of building a dam, we just need a cement pad just to roll it on. And we're going to make it a plug-and-play unit where all you got to do is hook the pipes in from the, our, uh, from upstream and hook a pipe that discharges back into the river. We just want to borrow the water for, you know, 500 feet or so. And, and boom, we're making electricity in 72 hours. We had a gentleman uh, flying from Washington, D.C. on Friday with one of the leading experts on water and energy in the nation, Dr. Lon House, whose resume is like 27 pages long. But he's an amazing guy. And he's trying to convince us that if we take this exact same unit with slight modifications, we can replace pressure relief valves in all the water systems around the planet and generate electricity where they're just simply letting that pressure um, you know, go because they need to stabilize their water system. Wherever there's hills in the water system, they basically put pressure relief valves throughout the system. And um, so we basically, uh, he says we can own that entire market and he's calculated in the state of California alone, there's 150 megawatts of potential just with that system for pressure relief valves. do not have to build a dam anymore and flood hundreds of thousands of acres of ground and taking that ground out of production. This will take care of it.